The Seminoles get it done in four, defeat Georgia Tech. Lane Hurt here with Peyton Caffrey. Peyton, that last point, when that ball went, went deep, breathe a little sigh of relief? Uh, yes. Um, we knew that it wasn't our cleanest win, but like we said, it's a win and a win counts. Um, the second set kind of got us, but I think that we did really well bouncing back from that, and we knew what we had to clean up, so we did it. It wasn't all the time, but we still did it, and that's all that matters. Um, we just have to go in tomorrow's practice, really lock in and work on what we need to work on, and then come in Sunday and just apply it against Clemson. You mentioned bouncing back after the second. You took big leads in the third and fourth. How important was the way that you responded to that, and especially in the fourth getting out to that big lead because you needed those points? It was huge. Uh, we work on it in practice, you know, having a lead and not letting up. Um, that's a huge thing uh, for every team. If you have that lead, you can't let the team back in. So I think that we did pretty well at that. Uh, we kind of let up a little, but we finished and we won. So that's good. <laughs> 19 kills for you, two other players in double figures, Ashley Murray with eight. You get the majority of the attack chances, but the, the, the balance of the team, how important is that to have that, to have some of that balance? It's huge because, you know, when they're keying on me, we go to our middles. When they're keying on our middles, we set it to the pin. So I think that it all goes to our setters. They do a great job of spreading the offense out, making sure that, you know, we're not having a block pinned on one hitter. So I think that it starts with a pass and then it goes straight to our setters. You know, the hitters just get the balls and we have to place it, but um, props to our setters and our diggers, so. You mentioned having to place it. The, the way that some of your kills go, the, whether it's the finesse or the power, how are you able to process in the moment what you need to do to put the ball down? Um, there were a few points where I looked at Jay and I was like, what, what's open? And she just kept telling me tip over block, tip over block. So, you know, that went down around three or four times. So I knew that it just kind of goes towards the coaches and my teammates on the court. I trust them with everything. So if they're telling me lines open, I'm going to swing line. If they're telling me tips open, I'm going to tip. So once again, it's all a team thing. So without them, the kills I get would not be possible. So there you have it, Seminole fans. Another sh shot for the Knolls on Sunday here at home against Clemson at one o'clock. So don't miss out. Come out and support your Knolls. For Peyton, I'm Lane. Go Knolls.